a video review for Electricidad by Luis Alfaro. On the night of Friday, March 15th at around 7.45, my family arrived at the Fox Fine Art Center to see the play Electricidad written by Luis Alfaro. When we arrived, we were greeted by the pictures of each of the actors and a very helpful crew of ushers. Upon entering the studio theater, the first thing we noticed was that the set was set so close to the seats. This is intriguing to us as we had always seen theater done in a proscenium stage setting. The atmosphere was much like I expected upon doing research for seeing the play. Playful, but with the slightly macabre air that comes with seeing a shrine with a dead body in it as soon as you walk in. The oldies played as the audience arrived and before you knew it, it was showtime with a full house. The music and lights lowered as a distant knocking and tapping noise began to be heard, announcing the arrival of the vecinas, and so the story of Electricidad began. The first characters introduced are Las Vecinas, a group of three veterans of the barrio named La Carmen, La Cani, y La Cuca, played by Lluvia Alamanza, Andrea de Anda, y Paloma Pelayo. These characters were a good source of comedic relief throughout the play, bringing laughs with their personalities and catchphrases. A poco, no me digas, ay. The vecinas told tales of Barrio's past where the cholo reigned and protected their territory. The entire play was based on a few themes. The first, revenge. The second, loyalty both to one's family and to tradition, or the old ways. Here is where the audience was introduced to Electricidad, played by Denise Mendoza. Denise was a very convincing Electricidad. She made me believe that she was truly a young woman swallowed both by the streets and the grief of losing her father. And while I was able to appreciate Electricidad's fierce loyalty to her father, I felt that it made her forsake all of the other people who were willing to help her, such as her sister, Ifigenia or Ifi, played by Ana Raja. Ifi was personally my favorite character in the entire play. I truly appreciated her bravery for returning to the barrio as well as her capacity for compassion and forgiveness. While Ana's performance was my favorite, there were quite a few standout performances throughout the play, one of which being Adriana Dominguez who played Clemencia. Adriana was able to play a very convincing and compelling scorned woman. She played Clemencia with a perfect balance between angry woman and vulnerable victim desperate for affection from her children. Another notable performance was given by Sergio Delgado who played Orestes. Orestes was Electricidad's younger brother with the poet's soul. Orestes transformed before the audience's very eyes. He grew from young cholo to a man. Orestes was the most sensitive character in the entire play. He was so vulnerable and impressionable and desperate for approval and love. Sergio delivered a truly remarkable performance. He was able to convey the pain Orestes was going through, especially in the last scene. Other important characters were Abuela, played by Elaine Lerma, and Nino, played by Damien Dena. I was very impressed with the costuming and makeup, designed by Denise Hernandez with assistance from Monet Mendes. I felt that the makeup and costuming was the best way to get the audience to believe that these were cholos in the barrio struggling for their lives. Electricidad was a tragic play with moments of comedic relief and happiness, but was overall a story about a young woman's life crumbling around her due to grief and an intense desire for revenge. Overall, Electricidad was a very enjoyable experience with compelling characters and a great cast.